welcome to another one of my videos. You can help support this channel by subscribing and liking, and by grabbing some of my free ebooks and audiobooks. Today I'm promoting Shades of Grey, an apocalyptic science fiction series, and Monster of Monsters, a sci-fi horror. You can read or listen to the first two stories of both these series for free. I've left the link in the description, and later on I'll put one in the upper right hand corner. And now to the video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you quickly where the location of, for the generator is to build in your camp, and it does go in your shelter. And then we'll be taking a tour of, I believe it's all four or five pieces, depending on the size that you put out. So let's go ahead and get into building one. So basically, it is under generators. It, uh, let's see, it should be under new. Yes also under new now if you notice it's not showing the mold you have to actually go over and grab the one that you're wanting but let's go over to generators so as long as you have learned all the f let's see let me count them real quick one two three four okay four sizes so as long as you've learned all four plants to the four different sizes you will have all the skins available now here's a hint fastest way to grab all the generator plants is to go around and power up all the plants the power stations Poseidon's a good one to go but oh it takes forever so bring people with you because you got to run around they give you I don't know if it's 45 minutes or an hour to do it by myself it took me the almost the entire time to run around and do the little um, um, Poseidon powering up Poseidon but let me now go around. Now, I really love this one. I believe this is the, this one is the fusion size one. And it is a nice size, but not too big. So we'll go around and check it out. As I said, you just need to, and I didn't finish. When you go into the generators, you just go down to the size that you're wanting. And then just move over to the skin. So... There's medium, there is small, um, there is large, and what is called fusion. So you just click over looking for this one that you're particularly looking for. It looks to be last right now if you're just now picking up the Moretz Sweet Generator. Alright, but let's get now to actually looking around. All right, we walked around that way. I really like the, the glowing uh, mole rights in this one. You could probably maybe set it up to where you don't even see the generator, but this little uh, running wheel, that might be just a cool idea, maybe for a zoo related or I don't know, type of camp or shelter. I'm gonna go now into camera mode and take another look around. Actually, let me get a little closer. And so far, I do really like all of these. They look really good. They did really good details on the mole rats. It seems to be maybe, I don't know if it's humidity or maybe frost is going on on the uh, glass on the spinning wheel. Um, I'll go back and check. I don't know that you can actually interact with these uh, buttons. I will do that before I move on to the other generators. Here's the hookup. And the other side has nothing. Let me go over and see if I could interact with them. No. And no. They do have a readout, which that's nice. All right, let's go to the next size down. This one is considered the large. Make sure, yep. And they have the regular mole rats in here. There's three of them spinning around in the wheel. Got a little bit of electricity going on here. That's a nice little detail. And the generator actually vibrates from working. Ah, this, oh, look at the electricity. They did good. They did good on little graphics. All right. This one um, doesn't have a lot of color. It's mostly rusted with, I think it's either a yellowish green or just a really 
faded yellow and a lot of rust again oh it has a little crank on the side again this is a nice nice uh, detailed piece that they did some work on took their time let me go into camera mode Get above and yep oh look at the teeth they did so good ah hello mole rats you ankle biters all right let's look at the electricity detail again so yeah we got really good sparks going on nice vibration for the mechanics of the machine working and again, very good detail. Let me get on the back. Oh, they just went all... They they didn't skinch on that mole rats. They kept their nice details. Okay, and then again, there's the crank. I don't think the crank does anything. Let me see. Nope. All right, now we'll go to the medium size one. This one has two mole rats. Regular. Uh, again, I got some nice little electricity fluct fluctuating there. That's nice. I'm going to actually move this. I'm getting some dark shadow over here. Let me go put it in the light. Okay. Now, this one does not seem to have as much rust. It is on a Palette, a wooden palette. I'm gonna go into camera mode, but first I'm gonna bring one of the lights a little closer. We got both sides. Oop, both sides lit up. All right, camera mode. <laughs> again this this looks really good looks like uh, it's either dirt and grime or the generator might have been painted black at one point I'm going with dirt and grime pretty good details on the palette actually looks like it's the woods in really good condition we got one bolted down and the other one looks like it was used a different bolt, so they used a, uh, see if I can remember the term, washer? No. Nope, nope, washer is the little flat circle thing. Ah, oh, I hate when I forget names of things. Bolt, let's see. Ah, oh. anyway, very good detail on it, even though I can't tell you the name of it. Uh, yes, the little octagon shaped thing that's right there. Throw it in the comments, and yeah, I'll, I'll thank you because, yeah, I just went name blank right there. But again, look at the details on the electricity flowing to this thing. Ah, oh, they did so good. I think I'm going to go through these at the very end in the dark. So if you're wanting to see what it looks like in the dark. Okay, let's go over to the very, this is the small generator. It just has one uh, mole rat. Again, it still has some sparking going on. This is a blue one with uh, quite a bit of rust. Again, on a wooden pallet, I think. It, okay, let's go let me move it over. All right, now let's go into camera mode. It failed. Let's try it again. Okay. Now let's check out the sparks first. These just seem to be sparking. You got a little bit <laughs> right by the gas, which that's great. Boom. And it looks just to be throwing it a little bit. Oh, we do have, oh, we do have a little bit here. There's a little mole rat is charging it up for you. 
I guess there would not be any gas in this. It is mole rat powered. Right. So hopefully they did empty the tank out of gas. I'm assuming they did, because yeah. All right, let's now grab them all. And actually I'll just turn the lights out. That might be faster. So let's store. Here's another helpful hint while I'm doing all this. If for say, you can't lay down a light no matter what it is and it says you have exceeded. Now they're not talking that about that particular light, like this one's a construction light. They're just talking about all your lights in your category. So if you're wanting to put something down, you're going to have to, it's not dark enough, okay. Scrapped, not store, scrap one of your lights so that you can place the type of light that you're wanting down. Oh, and I heard there's some good news coming. They're going to let you go into camera mode while building. So hopefully it'll be a little bit better. I know I always have problems with getting it just right how I want it. Can't quite see something. All right, let's go into stored. Uh, let's go back to generator. All right, we're going to place the big one first because that's the one I really want to see how it looks in the dark. Okay, could be a little darker in here, but I'm in um, the silo. Let me just move it. Well, let me see. I think that's the darkest place I got in here. Let me just move it over a little bit. Give it some more darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay. Woo! Okay. In a totally dark area, this will look really good. You could, oh, you could use it as a light. Look how bright it is. I'm just coming up with a whole bunch of good ideas today. So there's that one. Looks really good. Uh, and the panel look, lights up nicely. It's got a little red afterglow on it. That one, a little blue. And you even have lights on top. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's do, this is the large. Okay. So not as lit up. You do only have the sparks going on with this one. So definitely the fusion size generator has a nice glow to it. Let's place the other two. Okay, we're going with the medium and we'll go ahead and do the small at the same time just to save on time okay again the only thing you got going but still it's a nice effect for the darkness this medium one has quite a bit on it on the sparking and not too bad on the small so it can be maybe even used as a uh, strobing effect for a dark creepy or halloween camp shelter all right that is it on this video if you have any questions about the generators i can uh since i'm able to build all of them now i can maybe try to figure out the answer to your question um, again, I will repeat, if you don't have the plans already, you will not be able to build these even though you buy the suite. You've got to have the plans learned. But the fastest way is just to do the events powering up. An example would be powering up Poseidon. I think there's over four, maybe even five. May, I don't remember the count of the different plants on the uh, map, but you can just pick one and go do it. Like I said, bring a friend because, yeah, Poseidon is pretty hard. I don't know about the other ones. Not that it's hard. It's just that you're running around and it's a large place. you got to find all these things to fix. And um, 
while there are scorch everywhere. So, all right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And is there anything you're wanting to know the location of in camp or shelter build mode? Throw it in the comments. I'll do my best to find it for you and create a video for it if I own the item. All right, until next time.